in a perfect wireless transmission, radio waves propagate in perfect circles. These waves will reach as far as the power of the transmitter will allow. The more power we use, the more distance we'll get. But we cannot use unlimited power because of restrictions imposed by the FCC and other agencies. These restrictions limit the power that we can employ while remaining unlicensed radio users. So, to have more reach in our transmission, we can produce a gain in our distance by directing the available power of the transmission in a particular direction. By directing the signal in a narrow beam, we are able to create point-to-point -point systems that can operate at great distances but require careful alignment. Looking inside the access point, we can see the transmitters that project the signal out the front of the unit, similar to the way a light projector shines a beam of light forward. This is the operating mode of the access point when no external antenna are used. The higher the gain, the more directional the beam must be. This means we must align another AP directly in front to receive the narrow beam. There must be no obstacles and a clear line of sight. When using the omnidirectional antennas, the transmission will have less gain, but it will cover a more circular area. This means that the beam has to share its power in a wider area, and so it does not travel as far. But even the omnidirectional antennas have some gain, and the preferred direction of transmission is out of the flat side of the antennas. The signal is emitted in all directions and slightly stronger out of the flat sides. For this application, it is best to mount the AP in a pole so that you can benefit from the near circular pattern of transmission that these antennas will give you. Remember that you must use both antennas per band or the system will not operate. About obstacles. Any objects in the path of the radio waves will reflect or absorb the signal. This will create voids in the transmission, and any devices that are found in these voids may fail to receive a signal. Point-to-point -point deployment means the APs are not using external antennas and are properly aligned without any obstacles. It is ideal for joining together two locations when using wireless technology is more convenient. Using the external antennas, we can position the access point close to our intended clients. This installation is ideal for giving strong access to folks on the sidewalk and most of the parking lot. Mounting the access point in a central location at a good elevation is a good solution, but it requires that you extend the wire network and power all the way out and up to the access point. Installing the access point facing down on a rooftop is not advisable unless your target audience is also on the roof. This installation will generate voids in the signal all around the building and any clients in these voids will not have a reliable signal or no signal reception at all. Remember that obstacles in the path of the signal will cause a breakdown in the coverage and reliability of the transmission. For more information about this and other topics, visit our online community at community.netgear.com.